Hey everybody, this is Organic Dairyman, and today is Sunday, January 13th, and I hope everybody enjoyed their weekend, and um, yeah, I hope everybody's day is going good, or whatever time of the day it is when you're watching this, and you had a good day. <laughs> yeah, anyways, um, obviously I didn't do a video um, on Saturday, as you probably will, you probably know that by now. Um, and my voice was kind of bad on, on Saturday. Um, <clears throat> it's even a little bit, you know, I don't know, not super good right now, but it's a lot better than it was on Saturday. Just that, I don't know, I couldn't talk and I just, just didn't work out to do a video on Saturday. So anyways, yeah. So, um, yeah, you'll probably see the title of this video. It says, um, how to transition your farm to organic. Yeah. And, um. I know I've had some people and you know that are inquiring some other farmers that are inquiring about um, how to go organic and everything so <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> my throat is just kind of hoarse yet that's the word I'm looking for hoarse yeah so um, yeah I know there's people inquiring about it and um, yeah so I'm not doing this video to generate views or anything I'm doing this video to educate people to help people Anybody out there that wants to go organic, um, yeah, I I'm, I'm hope I can answer some of your questions, hopefully all of them. If I don't have all the answers, um, I'll try to get answers for them. <laughs> and if there's any other organic farmers that are watching this video, um, yeah, please put your, if you feel there's anything I've missed, put your inputs in. Um, or fill in the blanks or if there's anything you actually you want to add put them down in the comments down below in the comment section down there and um, yeah and uh, what else um, uh, I had a brain fart here all of a sudden I think well anyways um, yeah so like I say if anybody's got any helpful other helpful things to say just you know Put it down in the comment section. And um, I'm going to try to post some links down in the comment section or down in the description below that you guys can go check out to help you um, do some research, some, some of your homework and stuff. And I know there's some people that maybe are thinking about that they want to transition to organic yet this year. Um, you know, maybe you haven't ordered your seed corn or any of your seed yet and um, you kind of want to get going on that so I figure I better do this video soon because if there's somebody that wants to transition this year um, it takes you you know it takes you three years to do it so if you want to start this year is the year to do it and um, maybe you've already ordered your seed already um, maybe you haven't maybe you want to redo it redo and redo your order or whatever but I guess the first thing, the disclaimer that I want to say on this video is the simple fact that for once I do not have, you know, I don't claim to have all the answers, but I'm going to do my best to answer your questions to the best of my ability to give you guys the, the answers for the questions you have. And I'm not going to sugarcoat this video. I'm not going to make it sound like it's wonderful and easy, but I'm also not trying to discourage you from going organic by any means, but, um, yeah, so um, there's a lot of stuff to cover. Um, so if you don't, if you're not interested, like I say, in watching this video, um, you don't have to. If just for those people that are interested, that's the only reason I'm doing it. I'm not doing this video to preach organic, to push organic. It's just to educate anybody that's interested in going organic. And um, I guess the other thing I want to say too is. Um, if you're getting into organic just solely because of the money, I said don't do it. Um, it has to be more than that because if you just do it just for the money, you'll get frustrated, you'll get discouraged, and you'll give up. And you know, it has to be more than that. If you're gonna go, if you're gonna get, if you're gonna um, get into organic farming, you have to, you have to, you have to have a passion for it. You have to want to do it. You have to love it and you have to believe in it. You know, that's the kind of things you have to do. And yes, the money is an added bonus. Um, 
I could speak for myself or for you know my brother and I. We we could speak for ourselves and basically say yes, it would be, um, you know that has a lot to do with it. It just it's just it's more than just the money, you know. Otherwise, we probably would have given up a long time ago. Um, and um, I don't know. <laughs> so um, I guess so. That's that's with that said. Um, yeah, you got it. You got to keep keep those things in mind because um, organic farming it is more work. It's not as easy as conventional farming. So keep that in mind. I mean, um, you know, we've been doing this. We started the process 16 years ago. It was 2003 when we started transitioning our farm to organic. And um, so, you know, we've been there. We've done that. You know, we had all the same questions that you you had. I mean, believe me, we had a ton of questions. But, you know, we had a lot of worries, a lot of concerns. Um, what about, what if this happens? What happens if that happens? You know, you know, you name it, we had the question for it. And I guess the biggest thing is, you know, if we thought that if other people can do this, we can do it. And the advantage that you guys have by watching this video is you have all the knowledge that we have gained over the last 16 years. So you have, you can learn from our mistakes so you don't have to make mistakes. That's the best thing to do. You can learn from somebody else's mistake. That's always better, right? <laughs> so you don't have to make the same mistake. And so, yeah, so I guess the, the first thing I want to say or the next thing group of things I want to say is the simple fact that um, I guess it depends on what your operation is if you're if you want to get into organic and maybe you're thinking about um, it depends on your operation maybe you just have you're just a grain farmer um, maybe you're a small I don't know how big of a grain farmer you are if you're watching this video maybe you have livestock um, you know you got questions like what do you want to do I mean do you want to convert just your your grain side of your farm over to organic do you want to convert your livestock you know those are questions I want to help you answer um, maybe some of the things you want to do too is when you're getting into organic is um, maybe you don't want to jump in you don't want to jump in head first maybe you want to just get your feet wet and there's a lot of there's some people that do that they just they slowly transition their acres over to organic. You know, maybe they try 100 acres and they see how it goes. And if they like it, they transition another 100 acres. You know, and maybe that's what you want to do. Just do a little bit at a time. And there are some farms out there that are actually both organic and conventional. They have half their acres organic and half their acres conventional. You don't have to convert your whole farm. Um, maybe one... The organic will subsidize the conventional farm in a bad year and then or vice versa or maybe if you got if both organic does good and conventional does good wow you you're gonna make some money you know so that's an you know a, a way to look at it um, maybe if you're getting into if you're a dairy farmer and you want to go organic um, right now <coughs> excuse me the dairy part of it is kind of limited because you know as far as I know nobody right now is taking on any new producers um, the two biggest organic milk um, companies out there are organic valley and horizon they're the two biggest um, there's some other smaller ones there's another one called Westby I think and another one called scenic I think it's scenic central and I don't know there might be some other small ones out there too uh, oh stony field don't forget about stony field they are, you know, I can't, I can't speak for all of them, but I know for sure, I would say Horizon and Organic Valley, I know they're not taking on any new producers right now, and it might be a while, it might be a few years, it could be up to five years before they take on anything, but um, the one thing that you can do if you are a livestock, if you have dairy cows, and you want to go organic, you can convert your land over to organic. I, I can say this because I know of, an, of a dairy farm in northwest Iowa they actually their milking herd used to be organic but they switched their herd um, back to conventional because um, I don't know they had robotic milkers and it was hard 
to put their cows out in pasture and have the robots because the cows were continually coming in all day. And so they switched their herd back to conventional, but they kept their land organic. So what they do is they basically take all their, <coughs> excuse me, they take all their organic crops and they sell them and then use that money to buy back really cheap, or the really cheap conventional feed. And then they feed that to their cows. And they're still making money doing it. They're, they're making good money doing it that way. So that's, that's an option that you have if you're a dairy farmer right now and you're thinking about it because it takes it takes three years for the crops and one year for the cows that means the cows have to be an organic feed for one full year um, so that's kind of what you have to do um, when you're if you're thinking about transitioning your milking herd to organic you probably want to wait you probably gonna want to wait at least you know transition your ground first you know, and then after three years, call up whoever you want to, you can sell your milk to, whether it's Organic Valley, Horizon, Westby, or whatever it is you want to, whoever you want to, Stonyfield, you know, contact somebody and see if they're taking on any new producers. If they're not, then you're probably going to want to wait. But at least, you know, that's an option if you want to go that route. That's an option if you're, if you're dairy farming. Convert your land over, transition your land to organic, and then buy back cheap conventional feed to feed your cows. Um, you know, it, like I say, to transition your herd, it only takes one year. They have to be on 100% organic feed for one year. So, um, yeah. And the other thing I want to emphasize too about if you're going to get into um, or transition your land to organic, you're going to get into organic, you're going to need. You're going to need grain storage. If you do not have grain storage, you're going to have to get it because you can't just take your grain to, there's not necessarily an organic grain elevator. There are some places that do take organic grain, but if you're not, if you don't live next to one, which you probably don't, you're probably going to have to have grain on farm grain storage. If, so that's something that you probably want to look into putting up some grain bins or something to store your grain in because you're going to have to hold it. Um, so you can find a market for it so another thing to keep in mind is paperwork 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 if you're gonna go organic you got to keep records lots of records it's more work if you're in the livestock sector than you are in the um, grain farm the grain end of it but you're gonna have to keep receipts of seed purchases you're gonna have to keep seed tags and um, basically if you're gonna go into organic um, you got to start this right away. You know, you no no synthetic anything, no synthetic fertilizers. No, you know, like I say, no commercial fertilizer at all. You can't use anything that's synthetic. Um, no GMOs, no Roundup Ready, no Liberty Link. You have to quit using that right away. Um, none of none of that stuff. No no pesticides, no insecticides, no fungicides. Um, you know, no, no herbicides, none of that. You can't use any of that. If you're going to start transitioning your farm, like you say, this spring, you gotta, you're going to want to quit using that right away because the sooner you quit using it, because basically what you go by when you switch to organic, when you're the third year is you go by the last prohibitive, prohibited substance that the USDA organic, um, standard program has set in place. Um, I'm going to try to post a link down in the description for this go to, to go to the USDA organic website and um, they have a complete list on there all the organic things substances or all excuse me <clears throat> all the prohibitive substances you cannot use when you're organic so that's something to keep in mind um, you're probably going to have to go and cultivate all your all your row crops are going to have to be cultivated you know and um there's, there's going to be no more calling up the, the grain elevator or the co-op to come out and spray your crops for you anymore. None of that. Um, you know, like I say, and, and you're going to have weeds. Um, you're going to have weeds. But I can help you dealing with that. I'll probably talk a little bit more about that later. About how to do weed control other than cultivating your crops, row crops. But... Um, uh, there's a lot of information here guys to cover um, and don't forget too, you can always rewatch this video over and over again to get this information so don't don't forget that 
I'm, I'm, you know. <coughs> and um, the other thing too, yeah, your seed. You cannot have treated seed. Nope. If you have fungicides on your seed, insecticidal seed treatments, none of that. You can't have that. You got to specify when you get your seed. If it's if it's non-GMO, you know, conventional seed, you got to specify that you don't want seed treatments on there. It's got to be untreated seed. Um, now you can though you can get um, you can get biological seed treatments like seed stimulants and things like that to help the seed come out of the ground faster. But if you're absolutely in doubt about it, contact a certification agency. Um, you don't necessarily, when you start going organic or you're transitioning your ground, you don't necessarily have to contact one. But if you want to make extra sure you have a seed treatment, usually sometimes on the tags, um, like some like of the organic stuff, it will say, um, uh, what's that called again? It will say something on there like, um, ah, uh, God, it's slipping my mind. Um, it's got something on there that it that it will say. Um, just a second, I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, this concludes part one of how to transition your farm to organic. Stay tuned for part two. Please like, rate, comment, and subscribe for more. And thanks for watching.